Hello and welcome to PCI Express Gen 1 to Gen 3 Architecture. My name is Paul Barron and I will be your instructor. Today I will be teaching you about the key features of the PCI 6 specifications, the foundations to revision 3 and the changes and the enhancements. We'll be learning about the legacy, the native PCI Express devices and how the new features of PCI Express can be supported. We'll be looking at the compatibility with legacy devices and software. We'll be covering details of the PCI Express protocol stack for Express devices. Here where we have three protocol layer functions, we'll be looking at the formats and the configuration requirements. You'll be learning about the latest protocol enhancements required to support the new Gen 3 speed of 8 giga transitions per second. We'll take a look at the we take an overview of the new features added to the PCI Express specification, such as multicast, access control services, and we'll be learning about signal integrity challenges of the new speeds at 8 gigabits per second. There'll also be an introduction, a brief introduction to the I.O. virtualization, and we'll be taking a look at the multi-host resource sharing. So, the objective of the course is that we'll explain the PCI Express fabric topology in terms of uh, various definitions. After taking the course, you should be able to identify the PCI Express protocol, including layer defini definitions and layer relationships, and you'll be able to list the traffic types, meaning defined by PCI Express, and how packets are created and routed. You should be able to define the PCI Express configuration mechanism, which is used in plug and play. You'll be able to identify the compatibility requirements needed to support PCI, PCIX, and how PCI Express enhanced features are accessed and implemented. You'll be able to discuss the parallel serial parallel shift and the PCI Express capabilities relative to other serial hardware and software architects. We'll also look at the, we'll identify the reasons for the new op encoding procedures, techniques when, when operating at 8 giga transitions per second. And you'll recognize some of the new features being introduced to PCI Express through the engineering change notifications and recognize the benefits to the PCI Express fabric. So what are the prerequisites? Well, an understanding of how parallel and serial bus systems are used in PCA PC systems would be useful. And knowledge of the PCI Express and the PCI specification would also be beneficial, but are not a requirement. Registered trademarks and copyrights. Throughout the course, we'll be showing uh, graphs, charts, tables, and graphics, which are taken from the PCI SIG and are copyrighted to PCI SIG 2011. We'll be looking also, the PCI PCI Express specific, specification information is taken from the PCI SIG documentation. So, let's discuss a little bit about the topics inside the course. We start with the PCI evolution, how it all started back in the early 90s. We'll be taking a look at the PCI commands, the buzz operations and device types. Looking at bridges, what are bridges, how switches and the arbitrations is used within PCI Express. And we're looking at error handling, signaling environments and address spaces. Taking a look at the configuration space, bridge discovery and configuration methods and the registers required to, to, needed to provide such uh, discovery. We'll be taking a look at the transaction layer protocol and as well as MSI and messages. We'll be looking at transaction ordering, virtual channels and flow control. The data link layer, which is the second layer in the three layer stack. We'll be looking at the physical layer. We'll be looking at serial versus parallel communications and looking at layered protocol stacks in PCI, taking a, a brief overview of serial protocol analyzers and the usage in PCI Express systems. And we'll be taking a look at the link training and status state machine, which is used in PCI Express for um, bringing the link between two PCI Express devices. We'll take a look at virtual channels. We'll look at some of the system issues and features face your face within PCI Express and opt-plug power management and interrupts. We'll also be taking a look at the electrical and mechanical requirements when designing with PCI Express and we'll have a brief overview of the I.O. virtualization in PCI Express. We'll then look at the new enhancements to operate at the 8 giga transitions per second. So we look through the Gen 3 protocol enhancements. And we'll be taking a look at the block alignment and scrambling required in Gen 3. There'll be a revision section on the LTSSM and uh, some of the updates that have needed to take place for Gen 3. We'll have an overview of the Gen 3 signal integrity and some of the things that you can do to mitigate the challenges 
calls to eight giga transitions per second. We'll then start to look at some of the, uh, the PCI Express Gen 2 to Gen 3 protocol enhancements, the materials to download, there'll be a student guide, and there'll be some exercise guides for quizzes. But I'd like to state at this point some disclaimers. Please refer to the specification. The course is based on the PCI Express specification as, as it stands of June 2014. It represents the presenter's personal opinion and the current understanding of the relevant issues involved. The author, presenter and owner of the course materials do not assume any responsibility or liability arising out of the reliance on or use of this information. We strongly recommend that you make reference to the relevant specification or the vendor data sheets for any detailed design before making any design related decisions. So let's get started. 